Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you the calculation method of Siemens 840 SL PLC user alarm number. Look at this picture, we have got one alarm on our cinematic controller. Here we have one message and the alarm reference number only. There is no particular bit address which is making this alarm into true state. Okay, so before going into this topic, we should know what are the alarms that is available in our cinematic controller. Okay, so let me explain. The alarms are messages which is based on only PLC. Okay, I'm not going to talk about NCU or NCK. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the particular PLC messages which is made by user or the machine builder or OEM. So that is starting with this number the PLC messages for user that can be started with 7 lakh so 7 lakh to this number 7 lakh 9999 okay so now look at this picture in the picture we have the alarm reference number and the alarm message not, there is nothing on it so we should find the exact address or exact bit which is making this alarm on then only we will troubleshoot the machine if someone is coming, hey man, how can you troubleshoot this one? Because there is no alarm bit. Maybe you can say, I'll refer the manual. If you go to refer the manual mean, you will get a lot of time to identify the exact address. But you still, you did not start the troubleshooting. Okay, so what is the best way, a simple way, or coolest way to find out the exact bit of the exact alarm which is made by the PLC let me explain so this one is DB2 so DB2 interface signals for alarm uh, alarms for PLC that is that is made by the user okay our alarms is starting <coughs> from the 180 DB2 180 180 uh, from 180 we have the bit 0 1 up to 7 181 in 181 we have 0 7 so in PLC in our PLC programming we are using DB2 uh, DB2 that means data block 2 so we are using DB2 make the PLC user alarms so using this only we can uh, we can able to troubleshoot the alarms using DB2 so in this video I'm going to tell you how can we directly directly know or directly find the exact address of the exact alarm for example I'm going to take uh, I'm going to I'm going to take this 761 so before going into that um, you just know about this again user alarm starts from 7 lakh because it corresponds to db2.dbx180.0 the alarm point in the db data block can be quickly found found through the following method so now i'm going to tell you the method that is going to be save your time while troubleshooting the cinematic alarms plc based alarms okay for example uh, the alarm number is 7 lakh 1661 open your calculator I'm just I'm just going to uh, do some max right now this is not going to be a tough it is going to be a very simple one everyone can use this method okay so 180 what is 180 you can see what is 180 180 is this one this is the starting we should take the middle two numbers the middle two digits multiplied by 8 so 16 in 8 we have to do some calculation 16 int 8 we got 128 after that the last two digits divided by 8 we we have 61 so i'm going to divide by this 8 61 by 8 61 divided by 8 we got 7 what is the reminder 5 what's the reminder 5 because 7 8 are 56 so we have reminder 5 so you should add the decimal point now I'm adding 180 plus 128 plus what 7 after that we have to add decimal point and the reminder so what what will come 
315.5 so this is the exact db address of our plc user alarm okay so now we will take one alarm on this table maybe you can take anything you want now i'm going to take this one uh, 761 okay 761 I'm going to apply the same method which we have used for this number. Okay, 761. So the middle, sorry, the middle two numbers are 0. So I'm just going to add 180. 180 plus 0 because 0. Uh, middle middle two numbers are zero and multiplied by eight mean it will come zero only so after that we have 61 so divide the 61 seven eights are 56 and balance is five so i'm just adding 180 plus 7 187 point five because the remainder is five so 187 point five is the exact db address db2 that dbx 187.5 let me check this 187.5 wow we got the exact alarm address so by this way you can find exact address of your every plc user alarms okay guys thanks for watching if you like this video then you can share this video with your friends i'll see you in the next video